Welcome to Fly Eats Kitchen. I'm Jessica, your host, and today we're putting a fly touch to a Chinese food classic. We're making General Soul Shrimp. Make sure that you guys like, subscribe, share, comment below, and let's get right into this yummy recipe. Let's get right into this recipe. You guys, it may sound a lot harder than it really is. There's a lot of ingredients, but I know that we can make this happen. And it's gonna be my first time using a wok, so we'll see how that turns out. <laughs> Honestly, I love eating General Tso's chicken when I did eat chicken. That was like my go-to Chinese dish. But since I stopped eating chicken, you know, I had to miss out on it for years. And then one day I went on a layover because if you remember, I'm a flight attendant. <laughs> And I went to a Chinese spot that had General So shrimp. And I was like, what? General So shrimp? Like I've never seen anyone do that before. And so I was like, hey, why not try to make it myself? For me, Chinese food and eating Chinese food, of course, is a comfort food, but it just brings back that nostalgic feeling of when I was a kid eating Chinese food and watching Lifetime. Don't judge me. Yes, I did watch a lot of Lifetime eating Chinese food as a kid, especially on rainy days. And so I'm trying to bring back that nostalgic feeling with this yummy recipe. All right, so let's get right into the ingredients. We have some, you know, you already know, some wild caught. <laughs> large um, Argentinian red shrimp. It's my favorite shrimp to use for most recipes and it's gonna be great in this one. We have tons of garlic, even though the recipe doesn't really call for a lot, but I'm the garlic queen, so we have to put a little bit more than normal. We have some onions, broccoli, some Thai chilies, whole Thai red chilies, tons of extra condiments to add that nice red sauce. So some hoisin sauce, oyster sauce, soy sauce. <laughs> That's a lot of damn sauce. <laughs> some cornstarch to make it that thick um, sauce once we add it with our white rice and we're actually gonna make that white rice with some coconut milk and bring a lot of flavor into it as well. So let's get right into creating our sauce and getting our shrimp ready. All right y'all, so we're going to go right into coating our shrimp. What you'll need is some flour, of course, because we're going to have that nice batter on it. It's gonna be so good and add it to the sauce. I'm super excited if you couldn't tell. <laughs> so what you need um, is some flour, like I said, it's one and a half cup of flour in this bowl. And then we have an additional one cup here so that we can dredge our shrimp and then add it to to our wet mixture which is going to be added um just cold water actually it's not going to be any egg or any additional liquid just cold water is what you're going to add to this flour so the normal recipe calls for a tempura batter which i could not find to save my life hopefully you'll have a better chance at that um but if you can't find it like i couldn't i found on google that you can just add a tablespoon of cornstarch into your flour and it'll have the same effect so we're gonna go ahead and add our cornstarch. Just a tablespoon. This is like a funny, cute teaspoon, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more. And then into our dredging batter as well. Mix that sucker up. Okay. All right, and so now we're gonna begin to coat our shrimp. In your bowl of flour, you're going to add one cup of cold water, mix thoroughly into a pancake batter-like consistency. Then you're gonna grab your shrimp, drench it in that batter, and then in your flour, and then just place aside until you're ready to fry. I would suggest just placing it on a rack unless your wok or whatever you're frying in is ready, because um, then you can just throw it right in. So we're just gonna continue this and then get our wok nice and hot and ready to fry. If this is your first time using a wok just like me, I'm gonna let you in on the little fly tip I learned via YouTube University. What you wanna do is prior to using it, heat it up completely, add some oil, coating all sides, and then you're gonna pour that oil out, similar to what you would do with a cast iron skillet when curing it, um, to get that nonstick feature that is so beneficial when cooking. All right, so what I did after doing that is added my oil, we fried our shrimp, until they are golden brown for about six minutes and then what you want to do is have a rack with a paper towel to allow them to drain and i would also suggest to have the oven baking at 250 to keep them warm and crispy it's sauce time in a large saucepan you're going to add a half a cup of oyster sauce one tablespoon of hoisin sauce one tablespoon of chili garlic sauce <laughs> I'm already feeling like I done said sauce way too many times. Next, we're going to add two tablespoons of soy sauce, about three ounces of white vinegar, a half a cup of sugar, 
and about a half a tablespoon of ginger root. I'm not a big fan of ginger, but it honestly is not too overwhelming in this recipe. I'm gonna mix that all in together, add in a half a tablespoon of chopped garlic or go hard like me and add as much garlic as you want. A little dot of some red food coloring. You don't have to do that, that's optional. Mix in cornstarch with a little bit of water to just allow that sauce to get thickened and nice and gooey. Put that to the side on low and let's get our veggies and our shrimp together. Back in our wok, you're gonna add a little bit of oil, add in your nice chunky diced onions and your broccoli and your whole red Thai chilies. Throw in your cooked fried shrimp. Oh my God, I could literally eat this like this, <laughs> but we're not because there's more. So you're gonna add that all in and then pour in your sauce and mix it all in together. It's gonna allow our broccoli to cook and get nice and tender, but still crunchy. Our onions will soften and now we're ready to eat. We are all done with our general sauce shrimp and y'all, we did good. Well, I did good and I know you're gonna do good when you make this. Let me let you take a look. Oh my gosh. It's honestly better than takeout. Like legit. The whole the whole house. I can't even speak. The whole house smells so good with all the different sauces, that hoisin sauce, the oyster sauce, the soy sauce. All of those flavors blended together makes this amazing and such an authentic taste. So you really won't want to order out anymore. You're gonna be like, you know what? Let me go ahead and follow this recipe so I can make it myself. And obviously you can substitute the shrimp with chicken or even pork. No, I won't judge you too hard. <laughs> but let's go ahead and try this. Oh my gosh. The bar the bro <laughs> the broccoli is cooked perfectly. I'm gonna get a nice piece of shrimp. They're big too. So good. It's sweet and tangy. It's like the perfect combination. It's packed with so much flavor that you're honestly gonna be making this recipe probably once a week or on rainy days like I like Chinese food. Make sure that you guys like, subscribe, share, comment below, and I will catch you at another episode of Flyy's Kitchen.